Hey guys, this is Samir for Digit.in and today we're going to count down the most bizarre smartphone designs that came out of Nokia. Nokia once upon a time was the household name when it came to purchasing a new phone but Nokia is about to get back into the smartphone business and in honor of that we're going to take a look at some designed smartphones from Nokia that were quite crazy. Well it's not technically correct to call them smartphones since they ran on Symbian but they were smart for their days. Well here is our list of Nokia's bizarre smartphones. Nokia 6800 Announced in early 2003, the Nokia 6800 had a full QWERTY keypad concealed within its bulky candy bar body. The Nokia 6800 was a messaging-oriented phone with a standard alphanumeric keyboard on the top. The keypad had a hinge that could be flipped over to give access to a full keypad. Nokia 3600 The Nokia 3600 had a circular keypad below the display. The bizarre device was a smartphone running on Symbian S60 with 4 MB memory and a VGA rear camera. Nokia 7600 the phone with a teardrop design was one of Nokia's most bizarre form factors. Featuring a 2 inch 128 by 160 pixel density, the Nokia 7600 had its keypad running around the display. Its form factor meant that it was nearly impossible to use it with one hand. Nokia 7700 A device that looked particularly like a handheld gaming console and particularly like an F1 driver steering wheel, the Nokia 7700 was a bit of a rebel for its time. Housing a 3.5 inch touchscreen display with a 640 by 320 pixel resolution and a stylus for inputs, the Nokia 7700 had a speaker on the top of the display and controls on either sides, making it a rather bizarre device in overall terms. Nokia 8910i A business oriented phone with an external titanium shell, the device featured a 96 by 65 pixel resolution CSTN display and you have to slide out its keypad with narrow buttons from within the titanium clamshell. It looks a lot like the phone used in the Matrix. Nokia 7370 The Nokia 7370, to put it mildly, was an extravagant flourish of design with Nokia's swiveling form factor. Flowery design, however, seemed a little odd on it and probably appealed only to a very limited section of the audience. Nokia 7280 Otherwise known as the lipstick phone, the Nokia 7280 looked as weird as it functioned. A nav wheel was used to choose characters to type on the tiny display with a resolution of 208 by 104 pixels. The Nokia 3250 was unique, weird and ingenious at the same time. Made for music lovers, the Nokia 3250 had a rotatable half beneath the display on which it featured an alphanumeric keypad, a 2 megapixel camera and dedicated music controls, making it not only an incredibly functioning device but very unique device to own. Nokia 7900 Prism the first device to incorporate Nokia's Prism design philosophy, the Nokia 7900 Prism, had smooth flowing aesthetics and triangular buttons. It never became a massive hit among the customers, but led to the formation of an entire series of devices inspired by this design philosophy. Nokia N91 the Nokia N91 commanded some kind of coveted respect among phones. It had 4 GB of storage, 3G support, Wi-Fi, a 2 megapixel camera, and to top it all, a metal build that had dedicated music keys on a panel that slid out to reveal the keypad. It was large and unwieldy in terms of aesthetics, but made for a beautiful device that possibly would not find itself out of place even today. Well, that was our list of the most bizarre smartphone designs from the house of Nokia. If you think we missed out on any of those phones, you can let us know in the comment section below. As always, if you like the video, you can hit the like button. And for more videos like this, you can subscribe to the Digit YouTube channel. We'll catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.